It isn't every day that a car manufacturer that produces minivans, such as Honda's 2021 version of the Odyssey here that I borrowed from Holmes Honda here today in Shreveport, Louisiana, says, let's make our minivans more sporty. But that's exactly what Honda has decided to do with some refreshes, minor styling changes to the exterior and interior of the Odyssey. They want to make it more sporty. Now, what are some of the ways that is happening? Well, redesigned front headlights and rear tail lights, improved LED headlights here. You also have the chrome strip right here between the hood and the freshly blacked out grille. That's another change right there to improve the sportiness of the Odyssey. And also a change to the wheels themselves, as you can see on your screen. And of course, one thing that makes a vehicle sporty is that it accelerates nice and fast. And when we do our test drive in just a little while, yes, I don't film everything in the order that you see it. I've already done the test drive before you see it in the video. You're going to find out that this little thing gets up and goes, and it actually chirped the tires. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that in the video, but we sure will find out. But it was a lot of fun to do the test drive. But we're going to take a look at all of the different features here. Something that is new for the 2021 model year of the Odyssey is that now Honda's safety feature system, known as Honda Sensing, is now available standard on all Odyssey minivans, no matter what trim level you may choose. You will also find a nice large interior, nicely laid out, great technology and safety features found there too, and a very uniquely and usefully configurable middle row of seats. And we're going to look at that in depth as we work our way through. So let's get started with our tour of the 2021 Honda Odyssey Elite. When it comes to getting down the road, it's not going to be a problem, whether it's one person in the vehicle or it's loaded down with a lot of passengers and or luggage, maybe even a heavy payload, which you definitely have plenty of room for that. And we'll get to those numbers in just a minute when we open the rear lift gate. But here under the hood is the 3.5 liter V6. It puts out 280 horsepower, which believe me is impressive for any minivan. The engine combination is mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission and the gas mileage is estimated at best to be 19 miles per gallon for the city and 28 for the highway. And I say estimated because obviously that's going to vary depending on how many people and how much weight you're ultimately carrying as you drive down the road. Now, one thing I will say I wish was here, the gas shocks to automatically lift the hood up, but you don't have that. You've got the stand you're going to put up here manually. And let me say one thing, if you ever do have to raise the hood, make sure you look for this little rubber piece on here, because when you've been driving down the road, there's a lot of heat that's going to be coming off of the engine, obviously. And this metal rod right here that holds the hood up and does a good job of it. It's not a bad thing that it doesn't have the gas shocks, but it gets really hot, so make sure you grab this little rubber piece. Just a little bit of information to help you out. When it comes to the exterior, let's talk a little bit about what you'll see on the side and what kind of features are here. Power folding side view mirrors. And since I have people ask this question from time to time, yes, the blinker is built into the mirror. You do have 19 inch alloy wheels. Again, those wheels are meant to increase the sporty look of the Odyssey. A combination of black and chrome trim, black here on the top, chrome on the bottom for the side windows. And of course you have the power doors. You have a power door here on the driver's side and another on the passenger side. Power windows for each so you can lower those down or your rear passengers can if they want to. And of course we have the middle row seats here that are configurable in a multitude of ways. And we're going to talk more about that when we open the rear lift gate. But there are a couple of things I want to show you. There are quite a few things you can do here with these middle row seats. And we'll start with the front latch that allows you to move the seat up and tilt it forward. If you need to, you can fold it down with the middle latch right here. And I will put that back 
up in its place here. And to get into the rear seats for your rear seat passengers, that's what this lever on the very rear is for. That allows the seat to be moved forward on its track. The seat back tilts forward and then the rear seat passengers can get in and out. That's this lever right here. And I also like the fact that there are armrests built in to these seats for everybody. So that helps a lot. Very comfortable. You can also fold the middle seat back down. There are cup holders there, but that's not my favorite part. You're going to notice that there is a lever right here. What exactly is that for? We're going to take a look at that real quick. Before I do, you can also move the seats forward. There is a lever right here, just the same way it would be with a manually adjustable front seat. You have that same lever underneath here if they want to give more room, leg room, to the rear seat passengers. Now, for those of you keen-eyed observers, you might have noticed there was one little latch, one little handle here on the side of the seat that I did not cover. Here's what that is for. And you're going to find all these same latches and adjustments on both outside seats here. So, if you pull on this little latch right here, that's going to let you lower down the center seat back. There's the cup holders, there's a little bit of storage back there, but there's another little latch or a strap, whichever you wish to call that, here on the front. If you pull on that, you're going to hear something click. That's going to allow you to actually pick this seat up, and not only pick it up, but then you can move it out. And I'll tell you what, I'm glad I do a little bit of light weight lifting. It is a little bit heavy. So for those of you who maybe don't spend time in the gym, get someone to help you with that. Not a big deal though. In fact, it may be easier to get it out the back and I'll show you a simple way to do that in just a minute. But here's what happens with that area I didn't cover, with that latch I didn't cover. You can move the seats on their tracks side to side both of them move, and you can make all kinds of adjustments, multiple configurations. You can lower the seat back down. Let's see, that's the wrong lever for that. There we go. And as you can see on your screen, there are a multitude of ways that you can adjust things here. Depending on what you need, you can create a nice large pass-through and all that good stuff. So many different ways you can do this. And putting that middle seat in isn't all that terribly difficult either. But let's open the rear lift gate and I'll show you how to deal with those rear seats back there and how you can maximize your cargo space, which is not small in the Odyssey. When you walk up to the rear of the Odyssey, you're going to notice a sticker, at least on the Elite. This isn't on all trim levels, but on the Elite, you sure will find this. A sticker right here that gives you instructions for how to use the motion sensor, the hands-free function of this tailgate. And of course, there's a lot of different ways to open it. A button right here, you can use the remote, and there's an interior button as well. Or you can simply swipe your foot under the bumper, and it's going to open up just like that. A very nice feature and one thing to consider about that is the fact that just put your foot under there, you can touch that little kick plate there and then step back. It doesn't happen just like that and that's what gets a lot of people in trouble is they think, oh it's not working, so they do it a second time almost immediately. It reverses the process and then the frustration begins. Now let's talk about what you're going to find here in the rear and there are some really neat features back here. Here in the rear of the Odyssey, the first thing you're going to notice is what I would call a multitasker, this little well area here in the floor. You could put uh, luggage or whatever you want to store in there, whatever will fit, and quite a few things would, but that's not its primary purpose, but that is something you could use it for. These 60-40 rear seats, 60-40 split, just like what was on the tailgate, you're going to find a set of instructions. Now, it's not going to be the same thing on how to operate the hands-free system back here. It's going to be how to operate what are known as the magic stowing rear seats. And it's very easy to do. That's the primary purpose of this little well down here. You're going to pull on these straps that are mounted on the back of the seats, and here's what's going to happen. You're going to bring the seats down, both sets, and maximize your cargo space. Sometimes that's a little tricky to do, but once you do it a couple of times, you'll get used to it. I don't do that every single day. And that is one of the ways you increase your cargo space. And you can also, of course, 
maximize your cargo space with how you take advantage of and position those middle row seats. So you kind of get the, the wheels rolling of, hmm, I could do this, 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 and this, all that kind of stuff with all the multiple ways that you can use the availability of arranging your rear cargo area. Now, one thing that you're going to find here on the Elite trim level that you're not going to find on all others of the Odyssey is this right here, a built-in vacuum. It even has an attachment if you need it. And obviously, one of the questions that someone might have is, well, how far will that reach? Could you vacuum the front floor mats and the carpet up there from where this is located? The answer to the question is a resounding yes. In fact, the hose will reach all the way up to the very right side corner of the windshield, but definitely have no problems vacuuming the floor up here. And it has a lot of suction too, it's not weak. Well, first of all, let me turn this on. There is a little button you push. And as you can hear, it has quite a high RPM, which means it's got a lot of suction built into it. Let's see if you can hear this. I don't know how well you can hear that, but it definitely has plenty of suction power. I don't know, see that? See how it's pulling on my face like that? That's a lot. Let me go clean that real quick. And the rear seats are not that difficult to put back in place when you get ready to move the magic stowing rear seats back in place. You just grab a handle on those, flip them back up, pull on the strap again, and you can put those in place. By the way, those recline back quite nicely. So your rear seat passengers, I hope that wasn't too loud for you, I apologize to you earphone users, but that is really easy to do, to do and really convenient. I really don't intend for this to sound like an infomercial, but there is definitely more. And let's talk about that. Now, one thing I didn't say when we were looking at the rear cargo area back there and the magic stowing rear seats and all that is that when you fold those magic stowing rear seats, it makes getting this center seat out a whole lot easier to just pull it from the rear, depending on how strong somebody is. Just another option on that. Now, there are a total of eight air conditioning vents throughout the entire Odyssey. You've got four in the front, you've got two here in the middle row, and two more for your rear seat passengers. And when you look in the rear seats, on the left-hand side or driver's side, you will notice an HDMI, or excuse me, a USB port. You will also notice a volume control and a port for headphones, a jack for headphones, I should say. On the passenger side in the rear, you'll see the same thing with the exception of the USB port is replaced by a 12 volt power outlet. And the purpose for that is because your rear seat passengers can watch movies on the screen right here. And everything you need for that comes with the Odyssey, the HDMI cable that plugs to the rear, into the rear of the console here is available as well as the remote. You also have two more USB ports down there and a lot of nice storage back here. The pockets on the rear seat, you've got the door bends. It is very nice back here. And you have the control panel here for your rear air vents if somebody wants to change something. So it is very nice, very comfortable. This potentially could be the ultimate road trip minivan. Tell me what you think and tell me down in the comments what kind of road trip experience you have had if you own a Honda Odyssey of any trim level. Okay guys, let's talk about the front seat. And a lot of nice high-tech features here. You've got the nice instrument cluster. I like the instrument cluster graphics when you hit the ignition, push button ignition here in the Odyssey. The design that comes up, just the way that kind of presents itself to you, that's very nice. A very nice comfortable steering wheel here with steering wheel mounted controls. Now you're gonna find, of course, you can turn on and or off a lot of safety features here that's to the left of the steering wheel and on the left side of the steering column that's where you're going to control your headlights and all the different functionality there and everything for the windshield wipers the front and rear on the right hand side of the steering wheel 
seat memory, power seats, a lot of storage up here. You've got more uh, USB ports and all that good stuff. You've got that inside here, inside the console. A lot of storage, and you've got cup holders here, and wireless charging for your cell phone and I like that it works very well I've been using that today because of all the drone shots and everything that has been very very helpful and you have multiple driving modes here you have the push button shifter here and you'll notice on the very bottom D and S so that's for drive and sport you do have a steering wheel mounted shifter paddles again trying to be sporty that's nothing new here on the Odyssey that's been there in the past but of course, everything is super simple to use here. You've got dual zone climate control and Honda's infotainment screen. I have covered that in a lot of my Honda videos. I'm not gonna go into an in-depth tour today on that, but it is so simple to use that I just don't think we need to do that. But if you would like to see a, a video in the future that's nothing but how to use that, let me know and I'll make that happen for you. But I am looking forward to taking you out on the road with this Odyssey and telling you about how it drives and how it handles. So let's do that now. All right, guys, we're going to get out on the road for a little test drive here and probably a little bit of a different test drive than what you've ever seen in a Honda Odyssey before. I am going to actually see how this thing launches. I'm not going to do a foot brake or anything like that because I think if I did, it would probably bog the engine down because I have a feeling that if I mat the gas and the brake pedal at the same time that the ABS is going to kick in thinking that that I'm in a situation where I'm trying to stop real fast basically but we'll see what happens and I tell you what let's see okay so I'm cruising along here right now and obviously with this being a vehicle that holds a lot of people I'm the only person in here so it's going to react a little bit differently but why not have a little bit of fun so here's the thing we're gonna go over some railroad tracks here of course I know the the tripod kind of tends to to exaggerate the bumps here okay there's nobody coming let's see what happens I don't know if you heard that or not it actually broke the tires loose a little bit back there there was 60 miles an hour just not too bad 77 right there now, I'm driving, I'm just in drive, I'm not in sport mode, but let's see what the difference is in sport mode. I can definitely tell the difference. You know, the engine's working pretty hard, I must say. I'm not gonna do too much of that. Wanna, wanna kinda be careful here, but, you know, it's kinda funny in a way, if you're on a road trip with this Odyssey, with your Honda Odyssey, and the kids say, are we there yet? <laughs> you could probably get them to not concern themselves with that by putting it in sport mode and dropping the pedal down. They'd probably say, okay, let's take our time. Let's take our time. I don't know. Unless they're kids who are kind of like I was when I was growing up. I love going fast even back then. Now in a more real world situation, just having a little bit of fun there. Let's talk about comfort and the overall driving experience. Um, it, this this van drives very well. The steering is nice and responsive. It's, you don't have this big kind of uncomfortable turning radius. In fact, I'll show you the turning radius that I took with my drone earlier. This, as a minivan, turns very, very well, a very tight turning radius. And you know, that situation where I was in that driveway isn't probably the most ideal. It's not a perfect circle or anything like that, but the best I could find, I must say. So that was actually very impressive. Now, I'm here in my favorite place. You can't see it because I don't have the camera turned around right now, but I'm on my favorite road for doing test drives, but not really too concerned about how the Odyssey corners, because obviously when you have a lot of people, you're gonna have people moving around and different variables that go into the driving experience as far as the handling goes. But I must say, even with just myself, only 180 extra pounds of weight in the vehicle, I must say that I'm very impressed with how 
the Odyssey handles, how it corners, how it accelerates. You know, a large heavy vehicle like this doesn't typically accelerate really well. And the engine was working pretty hard when I stepped on it earlier. But when you just ease into it in a more realistic, normal situation, you're still going to find out that the acceleration is quite impressive. And as far as just the overall comfort, I'm, I'm very comfortable. I must say, this is a comfortable vehicle, kind of driving over some of the bumps here, the little bridges and everything like that. This is one of those roads that I drive all the time. I, I live about two miles from this location. So I drive through here quite often. The ride is nice and smooth. It seems to take bumps very well. And of course, the more people that you get in here, the better it's going to ride. Weight does make a difference in that respect. And even though I'm going through my corner here where I normally I've been through this corner in some high performance vehicles at much higher speeds than I just went, but did get a little bit of body roll there, but that's not what the Odyssey's made for. It just the overall comfort. I will say one thing I really like here is the fact that you have the armrests. You can adjust the position of these armrests. I just pulled it up just a little bit to be more comfortable. I do wish that the armrest was a little further out, but it is what it is, but at least it's there. Cause I know when I first hopped in here and the armrest wasn't in the down position, I could tell if that wasn't there as the driver, I would be very uncomfortable just because I'm in the habit of having my arm down here on the armrest. Even when I'm, I'm holding the steering wheel with both hands, I tend to just rest my arm down there. I know that's not how you're supposed to do it, but I'm not driving spiritedly at the moment. If I were, I'd have my hands up here at, at the nine o'clock or 10 and two o'clock positions basically is what that would be. Um, but anyway, now one thing I haven't done here is use the shifter paddles. I'm still in sport mode, so we're gonna get up here to the stop sign and I will try shifting with the shifter paddles. You know, that's it's one of the things we've talked about in today's video is that Honda has made a genuine effort to bring some sportiness to the Odyssey. So let's see. There's really not any lag. Yeah, there's really no, no lag, no delay when you pull the shifter paddle to upshift or to downshift. Really not a big deal. I'll take my hands off the steering wheel here. Let me get it going straight here. It tracks nice and straight, really. A little bit of a pull to the left there, not that you're going to need to do that. But when you test those kind of things out with a vehicle, when you're on a test drive, that's going to affect how things work on a long road trip because you, you're gonna have to move the steering wheel back and forth and just for a long period of time, even making very small corrections, that can make a difference. And so I have to say, there's it really tracks pretty darn straight. Not perfect, but pretty straight, I must say. And one of the other things that I, especially when it comes to having passengers in your vehicle that I like to talk about in these test drives is how the brakes respond. And when I step on the brakes, you can feel the brakes are doing a great job, but the brake pedal is very manageable. And what I mean by that is that it's not really aggressive, but it's not so soft that you feel like nothing's happening at the same time. The visibility is nice. Of course, you've got, like I said earlier in the video, you've got Honda Sensing is now standard on all these Odysseys, no matter which trim level you choose to purchase. So that's nice. And even though there really, there really doesn't seem to be a bad blind spot necessarily, you do have uh, the lane watch and all that, or not lane watch, I shouldn't say, but, but the warnings for your blind spots. Um, let's see, no, no lane watch here. I hadn't checked that already, hadn't thought about that. It'd be nice if it did have lane, Honda lane watch. That's always a nice feature. And if you're not familiar with what that is, when you hit the right hand blinker, the camera on the right hand side comes on, on the infotainment screen and shows you what's over there in your blind spot. Kind of a nice feature, but not here, but that's okay. And so when it comes to comfort, convenience, all the different amenities, the overall driving experience, I have to say this is really, really solid. Honda has done a great job and yeah, there are really not a lot of changes, really none in those areas, but 
if you're thinking about picking up a 2021 model, you're definitely going to want to know about those things. And wow, definitely an A plus, I would say. Honda has done a very good job. So if you're looking for a good kind of the ultimate road trip minivan, well, this very well could be at the top of the list, I would say, if it's something you're looking for. Tell me down in the comments if you're looking for an Odyssey. I know a lot of people watched my last Odyssey Elite video that I did about a year ago from the Honda Homes Honda dealership here. There are some changes like we've looked at earlier. Got some exterior and a couple of little interior tweaks, but I think Honda has done a really good job. I, I am not married, have no kids. I have no need for a minivan, but I will definitely say if I was in the market for a minivan, this would definitely be the very first thing I would consider. Definitely a winner. Okay guys, I've said enough. Now I want to hear from all of you. Tell me down in the comments section about what you think about the changes to the 2021 model of the Honda Odyssey. And tell me what you think about all of the different features. The fact that Honda Sensing is now available as a standard feature on these Odysseys and all the other different features here available, the technology and just the cool little things such as the interior vacuum cleaner on this elite model. I would like to thank my friends here at Holmes Honda for loaning me this Odyssey for the day. It's been a lot of fun to play around with and drive. And of course, I appreciate each and every one of you for being kind enough to take the time to watch. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.